Do this. Get the water balloon. Break it on my head. I know, guy. Go get the water balloon. Go break the it. Water balloon. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Ready? Pop it on me. On my head. Yeah. Hurry. Make it hard. Oh, there you go. Oh, my body's so warm right now. It feels good. Even if I take a shower right now, I would still get out sweaty. Yeah. It happens. Happens sometimes. Only when I work out. Thank you, kid. Here you go. I definitely have a widow speak now with this new tattoo. You have a new tattoo? Oh, here. A it. spider tattoo. A spider, and then I have this uh, little cool thing on your Like head. a skeleton reaper. Oh, skeleton reaper. It's like a Halloween costume, guy. This is so fun. I wish you just break it on my head. It's cool, little by little, right? Yeah, little by little. Oh, this is actually really warm and cold at the same time. For me, it's you know cold because my body's warm. Oh, right there feels good. Got my back. Oh, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Ooh. That feels awesome. I'll take my shoes off. These poopy socks. You're my motivation. Thank you for being here. You made it easier. Good job, kid. There's like little red bugs. I have pimples, right? Yeah, pimples. A lot or a little? A little bit. How many? I only have one each. Are they white or just red? Yeah. Like, are um, they, are, yeah, it's red, but you have, like, it oh. looks like you have, like, uh, one, like, two, and three, and four. I, I, one, yeah, I two, and three. Yeah, I scratch them? Five. So they, I don't know, they just bother Maybe me. they're mosquito bites. Things like little white heads or black heads. Especially when I go to work, I sweat underneath my shirt. What is this? Hey, Chief. Oh, Why you want to I bet you my sweat oh. tastes. Oh, it's super strong. You see how it pops out right here, kid? Look how sharp that is. I don't think it's supposed to be that sharp like that. You see that? It's bone, feel it. It's collarbone. Not everybody has it. I think I I'm just super bony. I don't bony. have it. I don't have it. No. I think it's actually could be messed up. If someone hit me right here, it's very sensitive. Or, or maybe, um. Isn't it more pointy on this or, side? Or maybe it's because you're super strong. Maybe because I'm skinny? Maybe because you're super strong. Oh, but feel this, hello, feel this side? This is bony, but it's round, right? Yeah. This is pointy, feel that, feel that. Oh. Huh. I thought that is strong. I think because yeah, like, when I throw punches, it uh, pops yeah, out. Maybe it gets swollen. That feels good. Well, maybe I can try to swallow my knee. Hello? With water, I can try. You probably do it on the cement on the floor. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys to write my name. <laughs> I love your hair. So, after Stop. Get, get it and then just put it on the ground. Okay. I don't want the video to be too long. We're already about a half an hour, so I got a couple more minutes, okay? Nice. Press the, red, press the red button and stop it after you're done, y'all, okay? I'm gonna just, I'll come back, I'll get water. Hurry, hurry. Yeah, go, go. Two, 
do it. The water balloon gone. So you get a cord. Do you want to see me? Do something. Okay. Stop it. No, just stop it. Stop it. Okay. But I'm very here. What are you gonna do? But I'm gonna show them how I hope. Okay. Still. Oh, this really looks dark on this side. Oh. oh. I think you should go over there space, maybe where the door's at. It's more wider yeah. over there. Because the table's on the way. Right stand in the middle. Okay. A few times, okay? Yeah, yeah, but stand in the middle so it could turn around. Right there, I think you're good. There you go. Good job. <laughs> I like that pose. I was like, ta-da. There you go. Almost. Gotta keep practicing. There you go. I think we're done now, right? Okay, say bye. Bye. <laughs> so I'm so happy I got... Hey Siri, can you send me a five minute timer? Hey Siri. What the fuck is Siri at, man? Hey Siri. Can you set me a five minute timer? <clears throat> anyway, I'm so happy I got to see my kid yesterday. Totally surprised me when I got back from work and she was right there walking up the stairs as soon as I came in the front door. Super surprised, I was so happy. I got a, she was like not even tired. I guess when they were about to take her home, she got real sad and like curled up in a ball and didn't want to leave. So she, my, my folks, they decided to see if she could ask her mom. She could spend the night, and her mom decided. So I want to say thank you to her mom for letting her spend the night. And um, a beautiful woman, like some, like a young ass girl with a body of like a horse, walking with like a dude that looks super young. Women mature a lot more than these young males, you know. But anyway, so I'm so just so happy that I got to spend time with her and thank her mom that she allowed her to stay the night and I think she'll let her again you know and then we're gonna go to the beach as soon as I get a weekend off I think like the second week of August I'm gonna have a Saturday and Sunday off so definitely gonna go to the beach and uh yeah we had a good time you know we fell asleep together we woke up we had breakfast we took the dog for a walk she got a little exercise in the morning and then uh, we played with some water balloons in the backyard and then I still was able to get my burpees in before work and Although she had to go back home right now, my sister Jasmine's taking her, which I'm thankful for. I'm just grateful, man. My sister Jasmine, she's my oldest sister. She's always looked out for me. She'll come visit me in jail. She'll fucking put money on my books. She, when I got a DUI, she picked me up. Any little situation I got in, she would always look out for me. Situations where like, you know, arguments with my mom, she would like get in between, just settle it or vice versa. You know, it's just things as kids, you know? And I see her with her boyfriend and to me, it's just kind of awkward, you know, like I've used to my other sister that were more similar in age. I know I've seen her with boyfriends before my other sister, you know, we didn't, she lived with my dad and like, I never really seen her with boyfriends so much. I see her with the one now. He seems like a really good dude. Like he cares about her, but an idea and a thought and, and, and I think an objective truth, you know, if I really want to do a survey or an observation, you know, scientific method, you know, I could have to put a survey together and get more data. But it's like, it's weird because it's like, we're, we're, I, it made me think like we're all humans, right? We're all men. But at the same time, even though they're like, it's like even though him or not, we're not blood, but we're still part of a human race where it's like, 
we're both the same. So like, I just remember her always kind of looking out for me. And it's like, now she, I just could picture her being that same way with someone she loves and like, you know, her, you know, could be a future husband. <clears throat> and it just makes me think like, I don't know. I just had this idea that we're all like similar. And I, I don't know, it was just, it was just, uh, it was just making me think, you know, the significance of that. I don't know. I just was just saying like, in the essence, I could, I could understand what I'm saying because, you know, it's my older sister and I'm like her younger brother, you know, and she just would always look out for me. So it's just that idea of, uh, you know, now there's a, she's looking out for, not to say she would always do that with me. I'm just saying like, I'm just going back to experiences of her being kind and being an older sister who would look out for her younger siblings, you know? And even with my brother, she was always the one texting my brother, you know, my older brother who died on drugs. She was like texting him. Like she kind of got it to the point where like my dad, like he was willing to see his dad, you know, after having so many different, I like kind of like hate towards him and dislike for him, you know, for not being there for him. And, my sister would coordinate a lot of things, you know, coordinate visits with my nephew, even with us. Like, oh, you want to go see our brother or you want to go, you know, she would like talk to him on the phone, have have lunches with him to, you know, kind of get him to, <clears throat> you know, talk to him about God. My sister's always been like a godly person, you know, spiritual woman. And even when I've said mean shit to her, like, God's not real, like full of anger and rage, you know, like doubting God when I was feeling like alone or like, hating life and hating my scenario you know so i just had that idea like <clears throat> it's weird like i don't know it's just um it's just, oh, 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 oh. You know, in all reality i hope it works out and i hope they uh go far i think my co-worker hey why are you recording this no because i uh talked to myself and i i uh, heard some rambling going on over here Hey, I'll get you right now, bro. A little head kick. <laughs> Me and the homie right there. What? Yeah, I do little vlogs and shit, but I, I got to come in right now at 2.30. This is the homie right here. Whenever we see each other, we want to get, get down and shit. It's kind of blurry. It's uh, not getting you too well. Now, I'm coming in right now, bro. Better get those hands up, dog. <laughs> He's a cool youngster. He reads books, too. I'm like Billy Madison. Uh, if you can't see, that's a large, a large coffee today. It's my day off of work. About to go hit up Doming Studio, get a tattoo later. I set the appointment. Might as well go. I'm gonna set an appointment to see my counselor tomorrow before work, right after class. I gotta go to work right after class tomorrow add one class for sure maybe two the only reason why maybe not would add a second class which would make it four in fall four classes in fall i think that might be full time not sure it's because you know i have to pay for my classes so <clears throat> that might be a little too much for me i still got to pay for this one that i'm going to join right now my co my classmate's going to pull up right now he's the other older dude in my class i'll show you guys him got a little fresh haircut Man, there's this fucking English teacher right now. She's dressed like a little schoolgirl, a little school fucking skirt and shit. What's up? You got the fresh haircut, dog? Yeah, man. I like got it, to, I like got it. To, got to. We're, we're the two fucking G paws in our class right now. I'm fucking with you. Hey. We pay attention though, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We waste a lot hey, of time. Hey, you heard your last of like... I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I ended up adding. One more class, so I'm gonna be taking three classes, about 10.9 units in the fall coming up. It's a psychology class. I'm gonna take a math class, English, and a psychology course. It's gonna be my second psychology course. And uh, she was a cool lady. She gave me an educational plan to kind of follow. Uh, that older dude that I, I you, you'll, you'll see him in this vlog, the older guy that I was kind of making a joke that we're the old guys of the of the class. He said he's almost going to be graduating and he started last summer. And so I'm probably not going to graduate as fast as he did. 
He said he was going full time. He took three classes in the summer. And, uh, I gotta check my financial aid so I can get uh, get this grant that, pay, that pays for my classes. I thought one of the somebody told me that you have to be full time to be able to get that grant, but she told me you don't have to. So I'm gonna go to financial aid tomorrow after class. Sometimes I wish I wasn't as cognizant as I am. I, I wish I was like fucking. I wish I was fucking. Fuck, what is that? Fucking John Deere guy. Right? Uh, sometimes I wish I was. Fuck, what they called it? Uh, uh, fuck, what is it? Autism. I wish I was like autistic or I notice that there's a I see a lot of autistic people that go to school, you know, the government pays for them to go to school and stay busy and stuff. You know, I see them roaming around the school at the bus stop, you know. Sometimes I wish I wasn't as aware or like normal and I wouldn't be chasing shit, like trying to be fit, you know, going running, exercising fucking two times a day working my part-time job as a customer service person or, you know I could just be going to school the government pays for it because I'm autistic and I wouldn't be thinking certain things in life were important you know my values and morals will be will be in a different place you know I would obviously be handicapped my bus is coming as opposed to being seem normal right but yet I got these other deficiencies of PTSD, fucking always working hard, like nonstop work, you know, never resting, etc. You know, these are fucking syndromes of some other bullshit, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get a tattoo. I could just go be enjoying my day off of work, but I'm gonna go put myself through pain, all for vanity, you know. Anyway, peace. Obtuse.